hello guys welcome to another video actually this one i did a long time ago like um three weeks ago probably yeah because it was the second to last race on the fia nations cup and uh yeah we were in some weird weird racetrack it's a really long one though it's just two straights and two bends as going as it loads up and uh yeah for here it still had the I, I didn't have the what's it called the cable ethernet cable connected i was still using wi-fi so in the previous video you'll see the difference from that if you've watched it you'll see the difference between that and uh this one and uh yeah uh, as we start as this warm up definitely kind of a warm up we I'm ranch 12, which is basically a Ferrari race. Though you can use the Aventador, the Pagani Hyra, Vira, Vira, Hyra, depends on how you pronounce it. There's a couple of cars that you could use, but then like the Honda NSX. But then everybody went for the Ferrari 458 because I think for the top end speed, I think it had a better top end speed. And uh, this being, as you see there on the map, it's just two straights and two bends. So this is a slipstream race. Def basically, everybody is on the soft tires. So I'm gonna whip it forward because this is a qualifying, already done lap one. It is, it is a really long straight, as I, as I told you, like almost 10 kilometers on each side. Actually, more than 10 because it's without point it stops counting and then you go for like another kilometer then to get to the bend so over here we in this huge hill i don't know why the hill i don't know the company that built it probably cost it cost billions of dollars definitely if they didn't eat all the money or oh, actually we are at the corner on the track of uh, where we were now this is what i'm telling you about the See the the very bottom of the world it's acting like very different different. Yeah. yeah, that's lag from me actually. I'm the one who is uh, who has got the connection with the guy has actually connection definitely. So that's why you see cars kind of drastically moving left, right, front, behind, front, back actually, sorry. As I say this is a slipstream race, so if you get the slipstream you can either bump trap as you see there we are like 10,000 people in the radar so yeah gotta have to bump trap the guy in front of me because that's the aim the game of the guy behind me actually his name is coming up in real which is uh, weird it's a weird name you see there we are like 7,000 people <laughs> on the same Particular uh, section of road, which never happens in, uh, unless in NASCAR, because NASCAR is an uh, oval race. They race on oval tracks, I think, mostly. I don't know, I don't know anything more about that, but then I have to get the game because it's a game, though. And uh, I have to learn more, like in the racing scene, so yeah, that's a uh, market list. As you see, the Portuguese coming to bump truck me was going 100, uh, 120 kilometers an hour. Yeah, we gained on truck to me, but then goes to the right side to get uh, as it also gets bump trucks. Uh, Italian, the British behind me also. Yeah, we all in this together. Second bank to the so that you go to the start finish line. Hope I don't lag out and uh, cause, cause mayhem. They lose a little bit of speed there because of uh, the wall. Uh, I send it to and I scrape the wall a little bit there. Spots fly everywhere. So trying to get a slipstream to get a better exit and get a good. Uh, 
क्वालिफाइंग लाइन और रेड पेपर सर्ट इसमें क्वालिफाइंग लाइन वो कर दें As the British suddenly breaks for I don't know why and still gets P2, it would have been he would have been P1. I think he knew he had a better time, but didn't want to be in P1 because of the slipstream. Again, I told you this is a slipstream game. Actually, race not really game, though the slipstream in this game is pretty strong than any other. Because I've played budget cars, I've played uh, I racing a little bit, and the slipstream on those two games is way way miles and kilometers away different from what gt sport has a slipstream settings because it is actually three settings strong weak or default i guess and strong is really really strong so yeah anyway i'm gonna whip it forward because we gonna start it off because it takes a kind of like two minutes to load everything up so there's the the lineup this is what i was it is qualified 11 but then by only like what less than a less than a second from p1 as you see there that's lag i was showing you cars behaving mysteriously but then everybody is in the Ferrari almost everybody because there's one in a Pagani and one in a, in a Honda NSX so we start off again this is a slipstream race so everybody is going to be in two straight lines or single straight line definitely because you have to the, the person in front is punching a hole in the air for everyone to pass through which is good but then it's not cool in real life it's not really okay because there's no air there's not enough air going into the engine to cool it off so you get engines starting to overheat and we use a lot of slipstream so that's why if you follow some if you follow racing f1 or in uh, gt racing they told to stay off slipstream for a while so that the engine can cool down because those races goes for four hours 12 hours, 24 hours, like 24 hours of the mall, 24 hours spa, 20 hours of the Nova Green. Yeah. You see there, no, nothing like really much is happening because, again, slipstream. Everybody is in a slip train. As you see there in the front, people are starting to span wide, pan out wide, because maybe probably staying in toes. If you get an aerial shot of a uh, the racetrack, the, the cars actually, you see there, there's a big pile. P1 to P10 is in one group. It doesn't happen in like any other race, definitely. Unless, again, in NASCAR, because NASCAR you can have a big pile of cars tumbling towards the start finish line or the corner and still maintain it and not crash as you go into the first bend. It's gonna be tricky just holding off the line see there god it's gonna be I can't even explain this close to 15 people are in within like a second of each other like how, the, how is that even a thing right that can say which is weird. It's close racing, but really, 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 really close racing. Which is frightening sometimes, because... If you look at this, like... Look at the radar. Right now. Like, how do you even say... Like, how... Yeah, I know the truck is right and all. But then... How do you explain how this many cars... At a particular moment... How do you look at this? It's just mental. Like this between uh, me and P1, it's less than a second. With seven cars, it's just mental. It's just mental. As I as I do the the the, the German in front of me doesn't 
think it hasn't gotten the truth of it. Like we have to work together to get to P1 because that's the end of the game. Like just probably pushing each other. It's, we have to push each other to get to better positions. <laughs> it's just funny. Those big laws are true. But then, which got me thinking, we're going at 400 plus, almost 450, not really 150, like 420, 410 kilometers an hour. But then, something I noticed, the sense of speed, yeah, as everything starts to kick off there. As a wall ride, then got hit from behind. That's how I lost my... My race, my possibility of having a win in this race, not really a win, but a good position, but still top 10, which is oh, probably okay, I think. But now I'm going to speed it up a little bit, because I think the sense of speed uh, in this non-GT cars, like, you know, like this road-going Ferrari 458, is weird. I think the speed should look something like this, I guess. Probably less. But then the sense of speed in this game is really low. Though you're not like realistically you can like go this fast because like a Bugatti when they were doing the the speed test they were they were doing how many football football feeds in a second around I think three or four because when they hit the 500 mile 300 miles an hour that's basically like um, just 500 kilometers an hour speed mark because that's what I'm thinking if you see some sparks some spark uh, going off into the distance and the uh, yellow flags meaning somebody's off and yeah it's this guy so the NSX Probably going to get to the channel P1 definitely because we have a what 18 seconds and we can't gain that definitely because all the people in front of using slipstream definitely slipstream slipstream was the aim game of this uh, race because uh, just two straight lines what you expect and then. I think that's why they put the road going cars because if you bump draft as the guy gives me a big push. Thank you, the Portuguese. This, this guy we used to we, we were doing this in the qualifiers. As it gives me another push, which is awesome. So just going to forward it because we're almost at the end of it. Just a two lap race, not really that long. So he goes for the for eight and I I'm going to return the favor and uh, give him a bump draft. And I'm giving a push there. Because, yeah, there's nothing else to do. We just try to finish 12th. Because of that slight mistake that, uh, that happened there. Got hit from behind. Actually, from the side. Because as, as I tried to go. the inside but then he has a better kind of way, uh, speed out or power out as you see sparks flying everywhere yeah it was kind of a boring but then it was kind of fun as everybody's just there finishing and that was the end of the race so yeah nothing really much happened except for that accident but I probably I might have crossed it, but then also some other people were being pushed around the, on the bends on the on the corners. So yeah, hope you did enjoy this, and uh, see you on the next one. Cheers, peace.